in the metrology and measurement subject the multiple choice questions on unit 1 basics of metrology the remaining topics are discussed in this video question number 16 the five basic elements or factors affecting the measurement system are the factors affecting accuracy of a measurement systems are the five basic elements are swipe standard workpiece instrument person and environment swipe standard workpiece instrument person and environment so the option is d standard workpiece instrument person and environment so the answer is d question number 17 which of the following gives an idea about the ability of the equipment to detect small variation in the input signal that is uh, sensitivity sensitivity has the ability to detect very small variation of the input signal sensitivity may be defined as the rate of displacement of the indicating device of an instrument with respect to the measured quantity so it can be able to measure very small variation in the input signal that is called sensitivity answer is C uh, systematic errors are controllable you know already we have studied systematic errors are controllable answer is B the difference between lower and higher values of the instrument it indicates is called as range so range and sensitivity are opposite to each other so the range gives the maximum to the higher value minimum value maximum to the minimum value whereas the sensitive instrument and should give even for a small uh, in, a small input it can deduct that input that is called sensitivity but range is the, uh, the ability of the instrument to measure very small value to very large value okay very small va smaller value to very large range if an instrument is if you, the instrument is having the ability to measure from a small value to a very high very large value it is having the higher range but if it has a le less value, if it is able to measure very um, very small values, then it is called as lower range. So answer is C. Then meter is defined as a distance between the center position of two lines engraved on polished surface of a bar of 90% platinum and 10% iridium at 0 degree Celsius. So the meter, uh, it is also known as international prototype. Uh, it is a pure platinum iridium alloy 90% platinum 10% iridium maintained at 0 degree celsius under normal operating pressure so it is 90% platinum and 10% iridium at 0 degree celsius so answer is b next question which of the following is not a line standard uh, there are three types of standards a line standard n standard and wavelength standard so line standard is meter and a wavelength standard uh, so a line standard is a meter meter is a line standard and yard is a line standard and the precision scale is a line standard but length bar is not a line standard so uh, length bar slip cages are used as end, stand, uh, end standards okay so end standard so the end bars end bars made of steel having cylindrical section of 22 point 2 mm diameter with the faces slabbed and hardened at ends are available in various length so the end bars can be used as end standards slip gauges so slip gauges are for rectangular gauge blocks uh, are used as end standards so a line standard in the line standard we are uh, measuring with a scale we are measuring with a precision scale or a meter scale or a yard scale we are measuring a quantity but using the length bar or using this end bar end standard in the end standard we are comparing the end bar uh, with the actual quantity to be measured and uh, like that in the slip cages uh, we are comparing slip cages with the work piece so in the end standard we uh, only comparison can be taken place but in the linear scale uh, but in the linear but in the line standard uh, we are measuring, we are actually taking measurement, direct measurement. But the end, end standards are indirect measurement methods. So length bar is the answer. So answer is D. It is not a line standard. All the all other threes are all the threes are uh, line standards, but D is not D is the end standard. So answer is D. Standards to be used for reference purposes in 
workshop or laboratories are called as and say C tertiary standards okay primary standards uh, primary standards and secondary standards are mm, very highly accurate so they are um, they are kept for mainly reference purposes primary and secondary standards are ultimate controls for standards uh, used only for reference purposes at uh, two at rare intervals okay uh, tertiary standards are reference standards are employed by NPL national physics laboratory so they are the first standards for reference in laboratories and workshops so tertiary standards are used in laboratories and workshop or in tool rooms so the standards to be used for reference purposes in workshop or laboratories are called as tertiary standards uh, primary standards and secondary standards are two rare standards so they are um, they cannot be they are not used they are very rarely used but tertiary standards are used in workshop and laboratories to calibrate other instruments then sensitivity and range of instruments have inverse relationship as i already told uh, sensitive and range have indirect relationship okay so they have inverse relationship answer is c and the pressure of a measuring instrument is that is answer is b the degree of repetitiveness of a measuring process thank you